Hello queens, good morning. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my skincare routine. Now I know I've shared with you guys a couple of times in the past, especially last year with my very strenuous skincare routine. But today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a very, very simple skincare routine. And this is pretty much what I have been doing for... For the last few months, and when I say the last few months, I'm probably saying about the last four to six months. And it's just because sometimes simple is just all that you really need for your skincare. Now, if you're wondering, like, what kind of skin type I have, honestly, I have combination skin. And I'm starting to notice that um, it's really starting to balance out between, like, the oily and the dryness. So I'm happy about that because I used to have to really worry more so about the oily part of my combination skin, whereas the dry. But now that my skin has started to mature a lot more I'm older now I'm 27 um, I've just noticed some changes in my skin so I just really wanted to share with you guys what it is that I've been doing and it really hasn't been much so if you're interested to see what my simple skincare routine has been as of lately then continue watching and definitely please make sure that you are subscribed down below in the description bar as well as making sure that you have your notification bell turned on because I want to make sure that you are being notified when I upload content because I do not want you to miss out on anything because I upload pretty much about one to two times a week okay so let's get into today's simple skincare routine okay so first I kind of zoom you guys in because I really want you guys to like really see how my skin is looking at the present moment and it looks so freaking healthy I don't have any form of additional lights in here softbox lights or anything I'm simply just using the lights from my vanity so you guys are pretty much seeing the real deal the real cut you know because sometimes in filming you know your skin complexion can kind of change variating with the lights that you have set up for filming so this is what my skin is presently looking like yeah so this is what my skin is presently looking like y'all it looks so freaking good I'm so proud of my skin and like how far it has really come because y'all know I had a lot Lot, a lot of dark spots and I used to hate that so much about my skin I used to be so self-conscious about it but when I started taking better care of myself from the inside out as far as lifestyle wise then my skin really started to improve significantly um, so if you're not eating a lot of fruits and vegetables and drinking a ton of water so that when your body's able to flush out those toxins your skin in spite of your skincare regimen, it's not going to, in a sense, succeed because you're not taking care of your temple from the inside out. So that's just really the only way that I can put it to you guys. So once I started doing that, I started really noticing the vibrancy of my skin. The complexion again was clearing up. Yeah, so my pores are not as enlarged like they used to be at all whatsoever. My skin pretty much has smoothed, smoothing itself out a lot. So I haven't been working out rigorously or anything like that. Again, I've just really just been watching what I eat day to day. Um, um, I really and truly try to eat more vegetables and fruits than anything. If I do eat something, whereas it's turkey, seafood, or sometimes I do eat, slip up and have red meat, that's usually like throughout the week and it's only once out the day. So again, depending on my mood, a lot of times I'm pretty much eating a vegan diet throughout the whole day and then primarily at nighttime is usually when I'll have like an alternative meal. Again, either turkey, seafood, or Again, red meat. It just all depends on my mood, you guys. I'm not perfect. So that's why I just try to be as honest with you guys as possible because I know that really does play a significant part. And I know for me, my skincare journey, and too, with just you guys being able to trust me with what it is that I'm actually sharing with you guys here on this platform. So I do appreciate it. I try to be as transparent as possible. And again, I'm not perfect. And yeah, sometimes your girl slips up and has red meat. Sometimes I want a burger. And if I want a burger, I will go eat the burger. Not saying that, oh, well, you say you're pescatarian and now you're eating red meat so what it happens if you have a craving you have a craving and I'm going to satisfy my craving okay so that's pretty much what's been going on with my skin again I have just really just been taking a lot better care of myself um and just really and truly just giving myself that self-love and that self-care that I really need and my temple deserves so without further ado you guys want to go around the head I'm just going to share with you guys pretty much what it is that I use in my simple skincare regimen Okay, so first I'm going to start out with just using like some um, lukewarm water. I try not to use water that's too, too hot because it will dry my skin out for the most part. Now, what I have been using for my skincare as far as like a cleanser, I have been using activated charcoal, you guys. And so this is pretty much, hold on, let me get this right here. Here we go. So yeah, I've been using this activated charcoal, you guys, and I picked this up from a local vendor here um she's actually based out of fort walton beach florida 
but her brand name is called Lady Ganics and she just happened to have some activated charcoal and I wanted some for my skincare regimen because it's because it's hard to come across really um activated charcoal locally what I've been using for like a month now and so um well actually a little bit over a month but first of all we want to make sure that we wash our hands so definitely make sure that you wash your hands first with some antibacterial soap I always do this just to ensure that I don't have any germs or anything on my hands Okay, so once your hands are clean, we're going to just, you know, pretty much just dampen our face with, again, the lukewarm water, so that way we're able to get our pores to open up. Okay, so now we're going to take this activated charcoal here, and I'm simply just going to lather it up in my hands really, really well. Come on, my hands. <laughs> And you know, um, you just really just need enough just to really, um, just to cover your skin. And sometimes I'll just take the actual bar and rub it on my face directly to ensure that I have enough to actually cleanse my face with it. Then I just sit it back in my little dish and I just continue to wash my face. I like activated charcoal because it pulls all the impurities out of your skin. And for me personally, with having um, combination skin, Charcoal works really well with lifting all of that oil out of your skin, again, that debris and that dirt. But two, the activated charcoal doesn't necessarily dry your skin out either, so I really do like that. And so, if I'm not using an activated charcoal soap for my face, then I'm using something else that does the exact same thing where it draws the oils and the impurities out of my skin. And it also helps too with clearing your complexion. So now I'm simply just going to rinse. my time you guys and rinsing my face this is the part of that TLC that I give myself in the morning I'm just gonna continue to have my face dry just a little bit I want it to stay a little bit damp so that way I can put a mask on okay so now let's move on to our mask okay so as y'all can see my skin isn't as oily as it was before I mean y'all my skin has really started to clear up a whole lot like it really has like, except for here, you guys know I have facial hair, so I had to deal with that. But for the most part, my skin looks butt bomb. So I've been using two different masks, honestly, for the last two months. And it's been my Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask. This is the Rose Clay Mask. And you guys know I love this mask. I use it all the freaking time. Um, I picked this one up from Ross. I got lucky, but you can primarily find them at an Origins um, store or inside your local dealers or you can go to Sephora. So I love this one in particular because it just helps with keeping your skin smooth and keeping a whole lot of texture away and it just really helps keep your complexion like really even. I really, really do like that a lot about Origins. All of their products pretty much act the same way. It's just some of them just do something a little bit differently than the other one. And then of course, I mentioned this one in my um, recent favorite video if you haven't seen that video definitely check it out and this is the queen helen mint julep mask and i love this freaking mask you guys and so i'll interchangeably um if my skin is acting crazy i'll use this one but if not then i'll just simply use my origins mask but for the most part i don't even use a mask every single day now like i used to before and i think the reason being is because my skin just really started to change and get a lot healthier so i started changing some things in my routine and that was one of them so i don't mask every day but today i want to mask so i am because i do see a little bit but not a whole lot so i just simply just take a little bit and i just this literally how i just put it on here because it the origins mask it really doesn't take a whole lot you guys and so and once you have water activated with it you just simply can maneuver it and spread it across the face so a little goes a long way and actually i kind of put a little bit too much on honestly but yes i just simply just take my fingers i know some um you know beauty enthusiasts will use an actual brush but for me my hands are fine because again they're clean i washed them again with some antibacterial soap so i'm just going to maneuver this all into the skin and what i like is that the clay you could actually feel like the little um particles in it and to me it adds like a soft exfoliant it's not abrasive um so it does help like give like a soft little exfoliation once your mask is actually dry so i'm gonna leave this mask 
<laughs> so I'm going to leave this mask on for probably about like 10-15 minutes and I'm going to sip and enjoy my peppermint tea that I have sleeping in the kitchen. And again, this is a part of my self love at you guys because again, we all just deserve it. I mean, don't just jump start into your day. Like literally give yourself some time to like pamper yourself before you go to work. And for me, washing my face and definitely showering in the morning is definitely that little bit of TLC time to myself before you know I jump start the day you know start my college classes you know and filming and everything of that sort because I've been in classes now for two weeks so it's been pretty hectic and I'm so tired right now um but y'all probably got me can't tell it but yeah so I'm gonna let this sit on here for about again 10-15 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and rinse this off my face so that way you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about all right queen so we are back yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and take this mask off and since we're gonna dampen my hands a little bit and as you can see it starts to loosen back up and again I like to do this because of the actual rose clay particles to help actually smooth across my skin and to give my skin like a light exfoliation and I always pay special attention to underneath my chin area because since I pluck my hairs you know y'all I'm just very transparent and I mean I'm just real I mean yes I get facial hair and it sucks but there's nothing I can do about it except to just keep it at bay so I just make sure that when it comes to my skincare routine as well I pay special attention to that area again underneath my shin because I don't want it to be looking all black and stuff that's not cute so what we're gonna do I'm gonna take this microfiber towel and you can just get these in particular from Dollar Tree for a dollar, a pack of four for a dollar. And I kind of find that using a microfiber towel versus just a regular washcloth um, helps my skin a lot. It's not as abrasive um, because those tend to be a little bit rougher whereas these are a lot softer and bam. And it's easier to like actually remove stuff from your, you know, face, especially when it comes to masks. And I tend to do this a lot. So, um, I was going to pick up some baby ones as well because I've seen some other um, beauty influencers recommend using baby towels for your facial um, needs because it's a lot softer to the skin. You know, it's not as harsh and abrasive. It's just not as rough. And naturally, if you're using something rough on your skin and you're already having to worry about texture especially, you definitely want to make sure that you're not creating any kind of additional aggravation to the skin to enhance the actual texture of your skin. And that's what I used to always struggle with was just the texture of my skin. It's just so freaking annoying. I'm trying to get my nose ring. <laughs> And um, it would just be so freaking annoying because I'd be like, oh my gosh, I do all of this, put on a smoothing mask and everything just to only turn around and have still textured skin. So it used to be so aggravating. So I figured I would share that tip with you guys. And I think pretty much that is it. I'm just going to make sure I got all of this off because you don't want to leave any kind of product on your face either. That's not good. And make sure you check your hairline if you're like me you keep your bonnet on a lot especially like when you're washing your face you definitely want to make sure that you're paying attention to that as well now my next favorite step is to moisturize i love to moisturize my skin that has become like one of my like honestly like one of my favorite steps that i've like really come to like when it comes to my skincare routine so i'm going to be using this face serum and this is the hyaluronic acid essential oil blend um it's a hydrating formula i actually shared this with you guys in my recent favorites as well i purchased this at um Burlington for how much does it say $5.99 so about six dollars but pretty much any product that contains hyaluronic acid um really does help to add a lot of bounce and plumpness to your skin and if you're not aware your skin already naturally produces hyaluronic acid and so you just simply are adding a little bit more to your skin to ensure that it remains healthy and balanced and has that you know vibrancy that you're looking for so for me I just simply just take this I just simply just take this packaging here, I just simply take this and I just take 
I just squeeze it and then I just pull out pretty much like the little vial and I only use between four to five drops in the morning time so that way my skin isn't producing too much oil because again where I live is really humid and it's hot I live in Florida if you guys are new to my channel so I'm gonna use um, five drops so one two three four five and I highly recommend if you're incorporating a serum into your um, wash day I mean your skincare regimen I'm sorry to do this directly after you get done you know rinsing your face with your mask or even if you're not using the mask as long as you get done with actually rinsing your face to go ahead and massage just into the skin because your skin and your pores are wide open and you may still have some water or moisture on your skin which really helps to let the serum absorb into your skin and I love this one in particular um, at first I was using it too much and so I find for me if I just use it honestly in the morning time that's enough for me so um, again I would highly recommend incorporating some form of facial serum and again I purchased this one from Burlington um, I could not find a um, link to this particular brand and product so unfortunately I won't be able to tag it down below for you guys in this video but again it's a lot of them out there in the market but for me go to Burlington go to TJ Maxx go to Ross I'm telling you you can find a lot of high skin a lot of high-end skincare in those um, particular stores um, on top of me adding a facial serum into my skincare regimen I still use a facial cream which is very important because the serum enough the serum by itself is not enough for my skin um, because again where I live at is it can be humid it can be dry it, it can just be crazy and yeah, so I've been using this one from Pond here we go and this is the Clarin V3 dark spot correcting cream y'all I love this freaking stuff I love it like I just love it it's just no other way to like actually just put it I just really love it um you really do not have to use a whole lot of it this is what it looks like and you guys can see I really do not use a whole lot of it um and I just really and truly just take a little bit and I mean probably like about that much that's all that I pretty much use you guys that's like it that's that like that's it and I'll put like a little dab there a little dab here on my forehead and then on my chin area and then I'll put the rest back in here because you have to remember to you just put that serum on your face and when you put this in conjunction with it and this is moisturizing mm, yes I just love the way this feels on the skin it's not heavy and it's not too light it's just the perfect consistency for any particular skin type and I purchased this from Dollar General for a dollar fifty but they do sell the larger container of it at Walmart and y'all this is pretty much my skincare routine this is pretty much everything that I have been using on my face literally a simple cleanser a mask when I need to and then I go in with my serum and my moisturizer and that's pretty much it for my skincare routine so all right so here's my skin I just want to show you guys again what it looks like matter of fact let me zoom in a little bit closer there we go so this is my skin and as y'all can see like my skin has literally like cleared up on its own and I'm just shocked like I know a lot of it again comes from me just being a lot healthier and just actually just taking a lot better care of myself from the inside out which does play a major part but I do still get breakouts which is typical for me um and I just pretty much battle that just by pretty much just watching what I eat and just taking good care of my skin and y'all can see too like even my forehead area like it looks so good so like I'm so happy with the overall health of my skin and yeah y'all so I just figured I would come on here and just share with you pretty much what it is that I have been using on the daily all right queen so that concludes pretty much my simple skincare routine I hope you guys enjoyed what I shared with you today because pretty much that's what I've been doing in conjunction with just making sure that I eat a lot a lot a lot of fruits and veggies in conjunction with a lot a lot of water so if you are not incorporating those three simple things into your day-to-day -day life to ensure that your overall temple is healthy from the inside out I would highly recommend that you start today whether that be you eating some fruit or just starting to eat some more greens and veggies into your diet that will definitely help you with having more vibrant and beautiful and just clean and just you know just vibrant looking skin and I'm just so happy so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video Queens if you like these simple videos like those simple practices of self-love TLC and you guys are wanting to see more of those definitely comment down below because I do a lot of just small simple things 
just to give myself that simple care of TLC. And I just really would love for you guys to start incorporating it into your own women of color lifestyle as well. And even if you're not a woman of color, just simply if you're a woman and you just want to just love on yourself a lot more, then definitely let me know what other practices you guys would like for me to share with you here on my YouTube channel as well. Okay, queens? So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I will see you guys next time in my next video. All right. Bye, queens. Mwah!